Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you know my name is Simon and in today's video I'm gonna talk about screen recording. Now screen recording is used for various purposes. Maybe you're a gamer and you need to record the gameplay and go on a live stream. Or maybe you're a YouTuber and you just wanna share some tips and tricks with your screen. Or maybe you just wanna record your screen for other reasons. So in this video I'm gonna show you the top 5 best screen recorder for your dearest PC. And as you know all the links to download the screen recorder so be given in the description below. And in the end of the video I'm gonna show you all the recordings captured with each screen recorder. So without any further ado, do, let's get started. So on the list of top 5 best screen recorder, in the number 5th position we have Bandicam. Bandicam is a screen recorder that allows you to record your PC screen. But it can be done only in Windows, so sorry for the Mac and Linux users. You can record both internal and external audio at the same time by clicking on the speaker and mic button. You can also add your webcam here by the way. Another feature I have found very useful is that you can add mouse effects in the recordings. And also it allows you to record a particular screen area. So to record the PC screen, just click on this red record button and it will start to record your PC screen. And to stop the recordings, just click on the stop button on the right corner. But Bandicam has also some disadvantages too. If you are not registered in Bandicam, you are gonna have a watermark in every single recordings. But if you don't want it, then please register in Bandicam. And also Bandicam has different pricings, so select it according to your need. In the number 4th position, we have ShareX. ShareX is a screen recorder that allows you to capture your screen and take screenshots. ShareX is completely free, and you don't have to pay to record your screen or to remove the watermark. But with ShareX, you can only be able to record the external audio, not the internal audio. It has many features or tools including hotkeys, image editors, video converter, QR code and many more. To record your PC screen on the top left corner, click on capture and from there go down and click on screen recording. Do not click on full screen, it's just gonna take a screenshot if you click on that. After clicking on screen recording, select the area you wanna capture and it will start to record your screen. And in the taskbar you will see this icon which means the recording has already begun. To stop the recording just click on this button and in the home page of ShareX you will see your recordings. In the third position we have a PowerSoft screen recorder. A PowerSoft screen recorder is a paid screen recorder. It has both trial and full version. To get the full version of course you will need a VIP account. In the trial version you will get a limited time to record your PC screen. But by default it doesn't have any watermark. So that's by the way one of the best things they have provided in the software. Unlike any other screen recorder, you can record a particular screen area or a window in this screen recorder. You can also choose your resolution here. And of course you can record the both internal and external audio at the same time. To record both audio, click on this audio spectrum and from there choose system sound or microphone. You can also add your webcam here by the way, I'm not gonna show you that for now. One more feature I forgot to tell you is that you can add mouse effects and hotkeys in the settings. So to record your screen, again click on this record button and if you are on a trial version, it's gonna show you this window. If you want the full version, then just buy it. In the right side of your screen, you will see these buttons to stop your recordings. In the trial version, you can just record video of only one minute. In the number second position, we have Blueberry Flashback. Now Blueberry Flashback is a paid software that allows you to record your PC screen. You can add your mic and speakers here. And of course you can add your webcam like every other screen recorder. In the free version you will get a watermark. To start your recording just click on this record button and it will start to record your screen. But Flashback Pro has also some problems too. Like Flashback insists you to use their editor. You can't save your video in mp4 format. That means you can't use any other editing software to edit your recordings. And also in the trial version it will show you a huge watermark which you absolutely don't want. So I recommend you to purchase it if you wanna use it regularly. Otherwise, you can use other free screen recorders on the list. So in the first position, we have OBS. Now OBS is a free screen recorder that allows you to capture your screen with both internal and external audio. To record both audio, first of all, click on this add button and choose audio input device to add your mic and choose audio output device to add your speaker. After that, select your micro speaker and click on OK. And in the audio mixer, you can see your micro speaker and you can adjust the levels there too. OBS is called one of the most powerful screen recorder. That is because it has tons of tools and features. Like for audio, it has noise suppression, noise gate, compressor, etc. And for video, it has chroma key, color correction, color key, loma key, and many more. OBS also allows you to live stream easily. For that, you just have to add your Facebook or YouTube account and choose your thumbnail and add your description. 
After that, just click on Start Streaming and finally you are live on Facebook or YouTube. It's as simple as that. So these are the top 5 best screen recorder for your dearest PC. Now let's see all of the recordings captured with each screen recorder. So that's for today's video guys and again thanks for watching and comment down below which is your favorite screen recorder. In my next video I'm gonna announce the winner from the comment. And yeah don't forget to subscribe and like my video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then watch my previous videos. See ya.